As some of you know, I have been on a journey to make mozzarella from scratch and I finally was successful. I managed to get my hands on some raw milk, which I was very nervous to work with. This is why you can see me smelling it because I was not sure when it would go bad, if it would go bad. I was just not sure whatsoever. Now, raw milk typically is not legal in my state for human consumption. I can buy it for pet consumption, but I shouldn't be eating it. However, because I was going to be heating it up and boiling it, I felt safe to do so. But everybody needs to make their own informed decision. This time around, I got rennet tablets, and inside the little tablet box, there was a paper that had a recipe on it. So I am following that recipe. So I am making my acids, which is the citric acid, and I am breaking up the rennet tablet and dissolving that into water while the milk heats up to like a boiling or a simmer. Now I do know there are some health benefits to raw cow's milk, but I was just really nervous as I mentioned before as I am putting this all together. I was really sure to make sure I monitored the temperature to make sure I really got it up to heat and I kept it heated for an adequate amount of time so that I knew that I would kill any bacteria at home. All in all, I was really pleased with how this one came out this time. A lot of the recipes online, they call for raw milk. You can do it with pasteurized milk from the grocery store, but I was just not finding that to be very successful as you saw in some of my previous videos. Twice now, I failed, quote, quote unquote failed. The second time I tried, I ended up making ricotta cheese. So this time around, it was much more successful. As you can see, the curds set beautifully everything was solid i was able to cut right through them and i was able to successfully form a little cheese ball now if you remember my cooking like ballerina farm and nara smith video i was trying to make the mozzarella cheese then and in their videos they always make it look so effortless because they can use their hands and stretch the cheese I could not do that because I did not have the appropriate gloves to do so. I was trying to heat the curds on the stove like the instructions said, but it just wasn't getting hot enough and I didn't want to burn my hands. So eventually I did switch to doing the quote unquote cheaters microwave method, which you just microwave your curds and using forks, you stretch it out and form it into a ball. Eventually I did switch to my hands and you will see me burn myself. Um, yeah, I was testing it right here and it was really hot and I just, it, yeah, I need to get those gloves. This half gallon of raw milk that I ended up, ended up getting, I was able to yield two fairly decent sized balls of mozzarella and I made a brine and once I was done, I just cut it up and I made myself like a grilled cheese sandwich with a balsamic vinaigrette glaze. Oh my gosh, it was so, so, so delicious. So this sourdough bread that I am using here is homemade sourdough bread. So if you saw my last video where I tried to do this sourdough bread cheese thing, uh, yeah, I was able to make it successfully. This was all in one day. Well, not the bread, the mozzarella. Um, it ended up being pretty easy to do if I followed the instructions and actually had the right <laughs> equipment to make everything. All in all, it was delicious. I might be trying this again. And thank you guys so much for following along with this journey. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.